Buenas noches. Good evening. Hello, good evening, my dear friends. We are on Thursday, right? No, Friday. Come on, come on, Friday. So it is uh, really nice because it's like we are ending the week. Um, unfortunately, most of us work on 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 Saturday. La mayoría trabajamos pues sábados, but we have like yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but we are. About to, to have a kind of kind of rest. Vamos a tener un poquito de, pues, de descanso. So, tell us, um, how are you doing, Carito? The yellow girl. 
Good evening. The word, teacher. Yeah, good evening. What about you? I'm really good because I like Fridays. I like Fridays. Yes. I really love Fridays, but I prefer Saturdays, definitely. But well, let's see. Yes, let's see. How are you doing? Wendy. Hi. Hi. How are you tonight? Good evening. Good evening. Um, I feel I feel tired. You feel tired. Okay, I'm so sorry, but <laughs> it is uh, it is understandable. It's entendible. It's Friday, so imagine five days we're working. I know it's kind of hard, but okay. Let's do this like kind of funny. Vamos a hacerlo un poquito divertido ahora. Okay. So here we have also Claudia. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, well, I'm terrific. And you? Oh, uh, yes. Perfect. Uh, good. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Teacher. Really nice. Really yes. nice. Okay. Really nice. Correct. That's the attitude. Um, Carito, your. Your daughter is similar to you. I, uh, I mean, uh, you look like kind of similar. That's yes, good. just like he's a uh, blonde and I, my hair is black, black. but the face, yes. It's similar. It's yes. my mini me. Yes, mini me, yeah, that's it. But having a black hair is really good. Having black hair is good. So let's see who else do we have here. Gabriel, good evening. Hello, my friend. Good evening, teacher. Okay, this well, is my, my first day. Yes, oh. it's your first class. So welcome to this group. I don't know if in the previous group, in the previous course, did you study with Claudia? Did you study with Pinto? With Wendy? Yeah. Yes, okay. Uh, this is my, my, uh, eh, mi, mi, mi correo falló los primeros dos días. Eh, tenían un error ahí, por eso oh, okay. no me conecté. You have, uh, you have like, mistakes. Okay, no problem, but yes. that, that is good. And now you are here with us, okay? This homework, uh, I'll, I'll release this homework too. Okay, but are you prepared with your homework? With your opinion? Yes. Okay, that yes. sounds really good. I like it. Perfect, uh, Gabriel. Okay, so Thank let's... You, Okay, let's move to this. The topic of today is passive voice. Pero vamos a seguir con el tema también de ayer que era eh, que era lo de lo, los articles, lo, los artículos y el ING form. Okay, que lo vamos a seguir viendo. But this is the class number three. Friday. It is good that we are on Friday. Estamos en viernes. Okay, that's most of viernes. I love. So, um, to this class, we're going to start with the first um, speaking activity. And the first speaking activity that I sent to the WhatsApp group was, if you could ask any question to God, I'm sorry, puede ser a Dios o en general, o en general, okay? Es una cuestión, it's a kind of metaphoric question. What would it be? ¿Cuál sería? Well, you can ask to God. I mean, God, because it is like maybe you can have uh, like uh, a lot of answers. Puede tener muchas respuestas. That's why I mentioned God. But if you want, imagine a question that uh, you would like to be responded. Una pregunta que usted le gustaría tener la respuesta. Why? What? How? So that's it. It is. I have a lot of questions. I would like to know a lot of things. But uh, let's listen to some of your opinions, your ideas, and that could be like interesting for tonight. So um, do we have volunteers for this first activity? Carito, the first chicken girl. Okay, Carito. Tell us, what, what is your question? Creo que está hablando con tu conciencia, Carito. Está hablando con tu yo de, de hace 20 I'm años. I'm sorry, Picha. Es que a veces uno le da el click y no, no agarra. I don't know why it happens. Yes. It, yes. It is common. Okay, Carito. Okay. Let me see. If you could ask God any question, what it will be, would be? I would ask him 
why there is so much evil in people that they harm souls as pure as children. Why it is allows people and children to endure hunger in the world. Allows, porque permite. Why allows <clears throat> to hurt kids, to hurt children. Yes. Yes, that would be my question. Uh, yes. I would like to know that as well, because uh, we are adults and it is common that adults, we have negative ideas, negative feelings sometimes, but kids, kids are innocent, are li yeah. li little, little ones, and they are thinking about playing, sharing, they are learning, but there, we have a lot of kids suffering in this world, and that is something, but something really bad of humanity. A very good question. Why? Why it is permitted a lot to hurt kids? Thank you, Carito. Very nice. That's uh, actually that's one of my questions. Yeah. Thank you. Me quitaste la pregunta. Okay. And uh, do we have some others? For example, maybe we can have. Oh, nice. We have Oscar. Okay, Oscar. Your turn, my friend. You go. Well, good evening, teacher. Good evening, class. Hello, good evening. Uh, is it will be a question to God? Well, um, unconsciously, sometimes we ask God, why are there so many words besides abandoning elderly children, problem between father and children? Is I had the opportunity to talk to God face to face, and um, I ask her. Here's a question. Okay. Or tell me how you read the Bible, because there are all the answers to the question that you ask me, as we surely say. Okay, that's nice. Well, uh, actually, um, we have like the Bible, and uh, the Bible is so important. It is like a guide. I consider it as a guide, como una guía, very clear guide. And there are some questions, like caritos, like, and even like, as you mentioned, why do people abandon kids? And well, I guess uh, that could be a really good question as well. So nice, Oscar, very good opinion. Um, let's listen to Claudia. Are you ready, Claudia? Good. Uh, yes. Um, I asked good any question what word is uh, because it will exist. I'm sorry. Uh, in the world. Uh, because it will exist in the world. Because es para la respuesta. Sería quizás why. Ajá. Ajá. Why it will uh, exist. Uh, in the world. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Sí, porque because es para contestar, es un porqué para contestar, okay, why evil exists okay, uh -huh. in the world. Okay. Okay, the, okay nice. That. We have different, similar to, to, to Oscar's uh, opinion, there are some, depending on the religions, depending on the cultures, and uh, they see evil in different forms, ven como la, la maldad, digámoslo así, de diferentes maneras, okay? So that's it, but uh, it is a really good question. Yes, Claudia. Very good, uh, what if we listen okay. tonight? Yes? Mm, okay, we continue with Kenya. Are you ready with this? Okay, teacher, yes. Mm, question de, de toda mi vida. <laughs> ok, all your life. Ajá. Siempre he tenido esta pregunta. Ok. Why, why didn't you give my other brother a chance to lie? Ah, ok. You, your brother passed away, right? Falleció tu hermano, but he was, was he a baby eh, or was he very young? Al nacer. 
Ah, uh, he was, he was, yes, even a baby. So why? Mm -hmm. Why that baby didn't continue living? Why that baby is in heaven right, right now, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it's a really good question because um, there are a lot of people who believe in God. There are some people who have religion, spiritual um, feelings. But even that, we have a lot of, questions like that because that that hurts it a lot and even it hurts porque dolió y todavía duele right it happens okay interesting question a very personal and emotional question Kenya thank you for sharing um what about you will listen to uh, Wendy and Steffi okay um i will i will ask him why can't we eat without fatting? I'm sorry, could you repeat again, please? Uh, why can't we eat without fatting? ¿Por qué no podemos comer sin? Engordar. Ah, to get, without <laughs> getting fat, getting fat, getting, yes. Ah, getting fat. Oh, oh wow, oh, wow. Um, without getting fat. Getting. Uh -huh. I guess something that we, <laughs> we that's that could be a superpower. <laughs> yes, and we would like to have it definitely. And um, <laughs> even it's like the opposites, or you eat what whatever you want, but you have uh, what results. You you have yes, so, some other negative points. Yeah, it is like like in equilibrium. <laughs> okay, interesting question, Wendy. Steffi, your turn, and then we go with Carlos. Why do we have to die? Mm. Interesting. <laughs> Why do we have to die? Why we are not immortals? Okay. Why do we have to die? Interesting. I have never asked that. Oh, maybe once. Sí, quizás alguna vez me lo pregunté, but mm -hmm. interesting. Viene bien filosófica, Steffi. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ok, nice, interesting. Y nos ha conectado Elisa, ¿verdad? Elisa es, es, es una persona también un tanto filosófica. Ok, good. What about if we listen to Evelyn and then Wilfredo? Ok, Evelyn, hello, good evening. Good evening. Ok, are you ready with your question? Yes. Please. Why does it allow in suffering? Ok. Mm -hmm. Similar, similar to this, to this, allow to hurt kids, abandon kids, but suffering is in general, not just to kids. It could be to adults, yes. and it happens that a lot of good people suffer in this world, right? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. It could be illness, pueden ser enfermedades, illnesses. Yes. Uh, it could be different uh, situations, but mainly, and uh, that's a really good question why the, the why does he permit suffering especially good people right okay thank you very nice question evelyn uh, will fredo good evening teacher hello my friend uh, my question will be what is the purpose of the human being in this world Okay. The purpose of human being. Interesting question. Okay. The purpose of human being. Okay, nice. And as I have uh, told you before, maybe we have some of these answers in some, maybe in the Bible, means uh, in different religions, different cultures. There are a lot of texts, hay textos, hay in which we can have like an idea, but it is different to read it than to, to, to listen to the real answer. ¿Verdad? Bien diferente leerlo y todo eso que escuchar como directamente la razón. Why? ¿Por qué? Right? So, thank you. Thank you. Um, you have really nice 
ideas, you have creativity for asking these questions. Thank you. Okay, before we go to this, uh, we, ho we have ways to say thank you. Algunos de ustedes ya las tenían esas, uh, but some others, uh, for some others, uh, it is kind of new vocabulary, okay? So, um, I'm going to check the attendance list. If you want, you can you can take notes of this, okay? And please say hello, hi, if you listen to your name. Alfredo Saldaña. No, okay. Carlos Ramirez. No. Carlos Abrego. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. And Pinto. Hello, teacher. Hello there, Carito. I'm here, teacher. You are there. Edwin. No. Elisa, no. Elisa, I, Kenya, do you know uh, something about Elisa? Why uh, she has not been with us? No, y eso le estoy escribiendo, pero no me ha contestado ahorita. Oh, okay. I hope she can connect soon. Thank you, Kenya. Um, Sefi. Present. Nice. Evelyn. Present. Thank you. Gabriel Beltrán. Present teacher. Good. Gabriel Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, Gabriel Ernesto. Is it okay if we call you Ernesto? Or Duran? Uh, Duran. Yes. Duran. Duran, Duran. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. We will call you Duran because we have the other Gabriel. Y el caso de Gabriel Beltrán no tiene segundo nombre. So that's why I was. <laughs> but you don't like Ernesto. No. No. Neto, uh, I, I don't. No. no. Okay. No. Bad idea. Bad idea. Okay. Duran. Yes. Teacher. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Yvette. I don't know if Yvette is here. No. Jackie. Cristina. Mm -mm. Kenya. Oh. Hello, Kenya. Nice. Uh, Luis. Are you there, Luis? Okay. Mardo. I don't know if Mardo is connected. I guess no. Este Mardo. Este día va a la casa. Y a veces Se... cuesta llegar, llega noche. San Vicente, or where did you say? No, Santana. No, Huachapán, perdón. Ah, oh, la estás cubriendo, okay. Okay, Aguachapán. Yes, you told me the last time. Um, Marvin Adonai, no. Mayra Noemi, I don't know who is Mayra Noemi. Um, Oscar, hello. Hello, yeah. Thank you. Rosa Lina. No, Rosa. Uh, Wilfredo. Hello, teacher. Hello, Claudia. I am here, teacher. George and Wendy. I am here. Okay, Jordan, thank you. Okay, here we have ways to say thank you. It is uh, common and normal to say thank you to whatever, whatever um, details or present you receive. Cualquier detalle que tengan contigo, cosa que recibes, so you say thank you, thank you, thank you. E incluso decimos thank you, no decimos thank you, decimos thank you. You can say thanks, okay? But instead of saying thank you, you have some other options. For example, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. En lugar de it, pueden decir, ejemplo, le dan un regalo. Um, le dan un gato. Ah, I really appreciate the cat. En lugar de I really appreciate it. But you can say it. I owe you one. La primera es, eh, realmente lo aprecio. La siguiente es, I owe you one. Te debo una. I owe you one. Este es owe, como que si fuera así. Como que si fuera así, owe. Ok. I owe you one. This, the third, I'm in your debt. I'm in your debt. Estoy como en deuda. También similar al anterior. You make my day. Como que me hiciste el día. You make my day. Make my day. Thanks a bunch. Bunch es como un ramo. Es como que muchas gracias, ¿verdad? Como un montón de gracias. Thanks a bunch. You're the best. Eres el mejor. Cuando alguien le hace un favor. Ok. okay. Eh, 
My friend, you're the best. Hey, dude. Hey, buddy, you're the best. Thanks a million. Un millón de gracias. Okay, thanks a million. And thanks so much. That is also common. Muchísimas gracias. Thanks so much. Recuerden pronunciar la S, ¿verdad? Todas las consonantes finales. Porque a veces decimos thank a million. Thank so much. Es thanks. Thanks a million. Thanks so much. Appreciate. Appreciate. Ok. Es importante cuando decimos debt. Debt. I mean your debt. Ok. Thanks a bunch. Cuando sonamos, cuando hacemos, eh, hacemos los sonidos de las consonantes al final, nuestro inglés suena mejor. Ok. Ok. Tell me what, eh, what phrase do you think is interesting for you? We start with Kenya and then Wendy. Ok, Kenya. Pick one and say it. Thanks so much. Nice. Wendy, Gabriel. I owe you one. Nice. Gabriel, Evelyn. I really appreciate, appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Appreciate. 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 Mm -hmm. appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Evelyn, Steffi. Thanks a, a bunch. Perfect. Steffi, Oscar. Thanks so much. Nice. Oscar Wilfredo. You made my day. Yes. Wilfredo, Claudia. Thanks a million. Uh, Claudia Duran. Uh, thanks so much. Okay. Duran Carito. Okay, Gabriel Duran. Are you there? Okay, maybe you have some problems. Yep. You're the best. Okay, that's wonderful. Carito Pinto. I really appreciate it. Nice. Carlos Pinto. And then Carlos. You make, you make my day. Yes. Perfect. And Carlos. Thanks so much. Good. Um. Appreciate, pero como la T suena como R. Appreciate. Appreciate. Así sería. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Okay. I owe you one. Okay. So um, these are like phrases that I always present to you so you can use them in any future conversations, okay? That's the main objective. Okay, my friends, let's continue with this. Remember that yesterday we were talking about adjectives. Um, adjectives with one syllable, adjetivos con una sílaba, fast, young, nice, late. Y adjetivos que tienen más adjectives uh, which have more than one syllable, like happy, crazy, famous, beautiful. Cuando queremos hacer los comparativos, le agregamos ER. Entonces, aquí decimos rápido, aquí sería más rápido. Ok. Si decimos tarde, aquí decimos más tarde. Si aquí decimos grande, aquí decimos más grande. Caliente, más caliente. Feliz, más feliz. Now, we have a superlative. Tenemos los superlativos, que son los que de un grupo se caracterizan por sobresalir. Rápido, más rápido, el más rápido. Joven, más joven, el más joven o la más joven. ¿okay? Y así sucesivamente. Caliente, más caliente, el más caliente. ¿okay? For example, we can say, San Miguel is hotter than... Than what? Than Santana. Entonces, estamos diciendo que San Miguel es más caliente que Santana, ¿ok? Or, la unión is hotter than... What else? Morazán. Aunque Morazán es más caliente, but there are some parts, ¿ok? In which we can uh, notice that. Podemos notar eso, ¿ok? But if we say, San Miguel is the hottest department in El Salvador. Estoy diciendo que San Miguel es el, el departamento más caliente. Okay, we're going to check this later. Vamos a revisar esto después. Se dan cuenta si lo vamos viendo poco a poco para que lo captemos. And 
quiero have, tenemos estos eh, pues, adjetivos también. Necesito que me vean acá. Vamos a ver ahorita superlativos. Traten de memorizar tres. No los anoten. Memorícenlos, memorícenlos. ¿Ok? Les doy cuatro segundos. Ok, nice. We start now with Gabriel and Wendy. Juan, solo uno quiero. Les dije que memorizaran tres por si, no, para que no me digan, teacher, me lo ganaron. No sé qué, porque se escucha como que me están inventando. Gabriel and Wendy. Words, 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 words done. Wendy and then eh, Carlos. Eh, happiness. Happier. Nice. Eh, Happy. Carlos Evelyn. The more and more, creo que decía uno. The more what? More. The more. Ya vamos a ver. Creo que me estás inventando una nueva palabra, pero ya vamos a ver, Carlos. Tranquilo, tranquilo. Okay. Good. Wendy, eh, Evelyn, and Carito. The. The Ulster. Ok. The old, but Older. 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 Ajá, older, ajá. Ok. Older. Porque con EST vamos a ver después. Ok. Carito and then Pinto. Ah, ya pasaste, ¿verdad, Carito? Funnier. Funnier. Good. Pinto, Kenia. Happiest. Happiest. Ok. Kenia, Claudia. But. Ok, nice. Ahora, eh, ok. Eh, hungry. Ok. Um, angry. 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 Uh, okay. Angry. Defi, Durán. Easy. 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 Como easy peasy. Ok. Eh, Durán, Wilfredo. Uh, easier. Ok, easier, esa la dijeron, pero bien, vamos con Wilfredo. Eh, angry. Angry, y lo anotaste, va Wilfredo, ajá. Que estoy oh. viendo que me hacen trampa ustedes, ya ven por qué. <risa> que no les creo a veces. Ok, ahora les voy a dar, les voy a dar cinco segundos para que memoricen al menos unos tres, pero de los celestes, de cualquiera de estos, ok. Perfect. And Wendy es como que. Wendy and Steffi. The brave, bravest. The bravest, el más valiente. Good. Steffi Durán. The worst. The worst. Durán Gabriel. Durán. Ok. The, the angriest. The angriest. Angriest. Ok, angriest. necesito que estés que esté pendiente para activar el micrófono. Ok, Durán. Ok, Gabriel okay, Carlos. Okay. Sorry, teacher. Ok, uh, angry, que me he fijado, ya lo dijeron. Así. Pero teníamos que memorizarnos tres, Gabriel. Sí, Come on. Sorry, sorry, ok, sorry. vamos a ver. Y ya se carita de yo no fui a este Gabriel. Ok, Carlos en Carito. The funniest. The funniest. Carito Claudia. The most fam famous. The most famous. Mm -hmm. The most famous. Claudia en Oscar. Uh, the best. The best. The best. Uh, de las tres, ah, la tres primeras. No sé, tú dime. The most okay. best. The most best. No, oh, estás inventando. The best podría ser. Ya vamos a ver. Oscar Wilfredo. <risa> Ok, Wilfredo, Evelyn. The bravest. Bravest. The, ok, the bravest podría ser. Eh, Evelyn. The easiest. Easiest, good. Edwin. Ok. Tenemos acá. Wonderful. 
Ok. And tenemos acá esto. Thank you. La forma base es como ustedes lo utilizamos. Por, por ejemplo, uh, my brother is fat. Mi hermano es gordito. My mother is happy. Uh, my ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend is attractive. So you can say it. But now here we have the comparative. Tenemos la forma comparativa y tenemos la forma superlativa. Si se dan cuenta, algunos que tienen la palabra more. Los que tienen more es porque son adjetivos largos. Y los que tienen solo er, por ejemplo, father, angrier, son cortos. ¿Verdad? Y es carito. One question, teacher. Please go. For example, if I have a conversation, but I forgot what is the comparative, and I say, for example, the most, uh, let me see, the, the more, more sad, uh -huh. they sound like yo querer. Ajá, uh -huh. este suena algo tarzánico, medio. Uh -huh. Ajá, okay, le voy a poner otro ejemplo, como que si lo hiciéramos en español. Tenemos, bueno, mejor, el mejor, no es el más bueno, no, el mejor, ok, so, es como el más mejor, <laughs> ok, sonaría algo así, um, we are talking about, we are talking about, we are talking about what, estamos hablando de carros, Okay, imagine we have a Hyundai versus Ford. Okay, y estamos, and we're talking about speed. Estamos hablando de velocidad. You can say, uh, pueden decir, ah, ah no, si sí, sí, el Ford es, eh, el Hyundai es bueno, pero el Ford es mejor. El Ford es mejor que el Hyundai. Un ejemplo nada más, un ejemplo. El Ford es mejor que el, que el, que el Hyundai. Pero si lo dices así como lo estaba mencionando, sería, ah, pero es que el Ford es el mejor que Hyundai. Entonces, ese el mejor ya, ya, ya distorsiona un poco. Ahora, otro ejemplo. Si estamos hablando de comida de, de chiles, por ejemplo, ah, este chile es picante, ah, pero este chile, esta salsa es más picante, estás comparando, pero si, si tú agarras otra y dices, ah, pero esta, esta salsa es la más picante, entonces tendríamos, si no sabemos utilizar estas, eh, estos sufijos o estos prefijos, mmm, como que te entenderían, pero con cierta complicación, más o menos, Carita. Uh -huh. eso, ok, okay vamos, thank you. vamos a seguirlo viendo después, si se dan cuenta de este tema se lo voy dando y de hecho el lunes también lo vamos a volver a ver poco a poco, tranquilos tranquilos para no saturarlos, ok relax, o sea, ahí, es de, ahí es de aprenderse los, como los verbos los regulares activos. e irregulares, similar to that ok, thank you ok, you're welcome ok, um, here we have this le doy cinco segundos. Please try to think about this vocabulary. Eso le voy a preguntar como cinco personas. Think about the vocabulary. No me anoten. You can have it in your mind. You're so intelligent. Okay, the first person is going to be Wendy. And then Gabriel, que hoy sí vio. Estoy seguro que hoy sí vio. Okay, Wendy. One or two words. Chair, chair, me parece. Keeping, keeping. Okay, ya vamos a ver si no me estás inventando. Gabriel and Wilfredo. Engineer, engineer. Mm -hmm. Okay, engineer, nice. Wilfredo and Edwin. Sorry. My name is. My name. Quiero ver si. Sí, lo voy a inventar. Ah, yes. Yes, my name. Sí, te perdono, Wilfred. Good. Um, Edwin and 
ask you how can you? Are you going? Okay. Teacher, tengo problemas con la conexión. Ah, um, ok. No, no le escucho bien, se, se me corta, se me va la... Vamos a esperar la estabilidad, ok, no problem. Kenia en Pinto. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Y si Pinto en Carlos. Charger and safety. Oh, good. Do you remember, does anybody remember the names of these people? Yo mm. sí, hoy. <laughs> Yo sí, así viendo para, ajá, ajá. So, Jessica y Roxana. <laughs> Roxana, Roxana. Es que usted le pide a una persona que lleva tres listas de hacer del to do que memorice en tres segundos palabras. Es que no me da la neurona. Como nombre, no, claro. Que no me da. Sí, come on. Es memoria de corto plazo. You can do it. Right. Ni de corto, ni de largo, ni de mediano. O sea, yo ando con lista de pendientes en la agenda, en el correo electrónico, en Excel. Eh, que, que la agenda del celular en la blog dale, de dale, notas, o sea, no, no me da. Catarsis de carito, dale. Todo, okay, no problem. <laughs> ok, nice. Um, eso es una técnica que se llama scanning, es solo para ver palabras, así, random, random. Pero tú puedes, carito, tú puedes con todo. Ok. Con que pudiste, con otras dificultades, que no vamos a mencionar los nombres. Ya no o sea, yo veo, veo la palabra keeping y cuando veo la otra, la otra empuja el keeping y sale del cerebro. No. <risa> empuja. Bueno, pero es parte del show. Yes. <risa> empuja el keeping. Dice. Y, y saben lo, lo, lo que incomoda es que a veces we have some words, but the, the other classmate says the, the word, te, te quita la palabra y eso incomoda. O sea, la veintiúnica palabra que mi neurona logró agarrar y el anterior la dice, entonces queda uno. Ok, pegado. ok. Sugerencia. Siempre deben de tener opciones. Hasta en el amor. Come on, you have to have options. Deben de tener opciones siempre para la comida, food, job, whatever. O no, carito. Of course. Lo que nice. pasa es que para, bueno, igual para el amor, si entra uno, sale el otro. Oh, that's mathematically correct. Matemáticamente es correcto. Yes, that's it. Gracias, Carito, por sus consejos. Lo voy a tomar en cuenta. Ok, here we have Jessica and... Gabriel Goza. Jessica and Roxy. So, um, let's see. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. Rex. Is, uh, it's the name of the company, okay? And my name is Jessica, I'm D, no, D, verdad? D, porque tenemos una vocal. D, Industrial Safety Engineer. Thanks, Jessica, nice to meet you. My department is responsible. Aunque diga responsible, es responsible. Interesting, responsible. For keeping the safety of the plant. Aquí está el keeping the carito. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance. Maintenance department. No, department. The department. Como December department. Uh, will I be responsible to you? Great. Our departments work together. But the maintenance chief. Chief. Is in charge of. Uh, directing o directing. Cualquiera de las dos opciones. Como el grupo One Direction o One Direction. Ambas se pueden. Of uh, directing your department, you'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. No, sure. Sure. Okay. Um, Industrial Maintenance Department Chef. Ok. Hola Roxana, bienvenido a Rex, que es la compañía. Mi nombre es Jessica, soy la ingeniero de seguridad industrial. Gracias Jessica, gusto conocerte. Mi departamento es responsable de mantener, keeping, mantener la seguridad de la planta. Ya veo, I see, ya veo. Pueden decir, I got it. Ok, hay diferentes maneras, ¿verdad? Pero I see es como, ah, ya veo. I'll be part, eh, seré parte del departamento de mantenimiento. Y le pregunta. ¿Seré responsable de ti? Genial. Nuestro departamento, nuestros departamentos trabajan juntos, pero 
el jefe. Chef, si quieren anoten esta palabra. Chef es similar to boss. Significa jefe. ¿Okay? Incluso um, para los para los jefes indios, los indígenas de Norteamérica, se les llamaban chef, jefe. ¿Verdad? Entonces, chef es, es como decir boss. Es similar a decir boss. Okay. So, um, Dice, pero el jefe de mantenimiento está a cargo de dirigir tu departamento. Tú serás responsable, tú serás, pues, bueno, él será tu responsable, a eso se refiere. O te, te entenderás con él. Gracias, Jessica. ¿Puedo llamarte si necesito ayuda? Sure. Ok, so in this case, um, otra vez, the industrial maintenance, maintenance department chief, chief, no chief. Chief. Do we have some other new words? Tenemos otras palabras nuevas or difficulties? No. Okay. Look at this. Here we have like um, it's here we have the names. Look, floor manager, que es el jefe, es, es el gerente, digamos, de piso. Safety engineer and maintenance chief. So, he or she is the super boss, the big boss, the big boss, el gran jefe, okay? So, here we have safety engineer and maintenance chief. But, so, they have the team. Tienen su equipo. Safety engineer has his or her supervisor. And the supervisor is in charge of Uh, monitoring the machine operators, assembles, truck drivers. And the maintenance chief is in charge of maintenance person. Entonces tienen equipo a cargo. They are in charge of a team. Okay. So that's why um, the team. Roxana says, I'll be part of the maintenance department. Maintenance department, que es este mantenimiento. ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿por, qué? por eso es que le dice um, The maintenance chief. Entonces, Roxy, Roxana, va acá. That's why she says the maintenance chief is here. Okay, the maintenance chief. That's it. Okay, um, Ro Roxy, iba a decir. Carito, please. Ya la mandé al, al chat, teacher. Thank you. Thank you so much. La chica matemática. Okay. And we're going to be in, in pairs to practice this short conversation. Okay. I'm going to, normalmente trato de, de, de hacer que todos estén pues practicando con diferentes compañeros y compañeras, ¿verdad? Para que sea más activo. Denle una revisada ahorita de la conversation para que sea más fluida. Okay. Denme. Give me just 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Okay, please accept the request. Accept the solicitud.
Ok, Claudia, necesito que aceptes la solicitud, Claudia. Hello. Hello there. Ok, Claudia, hay que aceptar la solicitud, please. May I call you? Thanks. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay. Escucha bien, <laughs> sí. Sí, Hi, Roxana. Bien. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. Okay. Maintenance, maintenance department will, will uh, be responsible to you. Great. Or departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. Your your do Okay, um, here we have, let's see. Gabriel, could you, could you practice? ¿Pudieron practicar, Gabriel? No. Oh, no, no. All right, yes, okay. Okay, no problem. What about if we have here um, Edwin? Could you practice? ¿Pudieron practicar, Edwin? I'm sorry. Yes, teacher. Okay, please go ahead. Who is your partner? 
Okay. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I am the, the, the industrial safety. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Eh, Oscar, Oscar, creo que tienes mucho, mucho, uh, mucha interferencia. Entonces no te podemos escuchar, ¿verdad? Eh, si puedes, en otras clases estar en un lugar un poco más aislado, ¿verdad? Porque sí, es que el, el sonido es bastante fuerte, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a... Sí, Hello. Yeah. Uh, Miren, Gabriel. Uh, ¿Practicaron? Uh, yeah. So, so, man. Ok, intenten entonces. No hay interferencia. Ah, no, ya no. Ok. Espera. Okay, okay. ok, Edwin y Oscar, vamos primero, please. Ok, eh, nuevamente. Hi Roxan, welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I am I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thank you, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see I be part, uh, I be part uh, of the maintenance, uh, maintenance, the, the board will be responsible to you. Great. Your department work together, but the maintenance chief is the charge of directing your department. You be responsible to him. Uh, Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if we need help? Sure. Okay, perfect. Eh, vamos a recordar uh, maintenance. Mm -hmm. Maintenance, very nice pronunciation, Edwin and, and, and Oscar. So remember, uh, department, church. Okay, church. Um, let's see, we're going to continue because... Uh, Maybe we cannot have, well, we, we won't have too much time. You don't have much time. Questions, okay. And in here, we have this uh, for questions, okay. I will need you to answer um, Carito, Pinto, select one, whatever, one, two, three, or four. Carito, you start, and then Pinto. Okay, teacher, let me one moment. I don't see. Who is responsible for keeping the safety of the personnel in the plant? There is the engineer, the, the industrial safety engineer. Yes, here we have it. Okay. The industrial. Safety engineer. engineer. Perfect. That's it. Thank you. Okay, Pinto. What about you? Two, three, or four? And then Kenny. Number three. Number three. Who is Roxana responsible to? Who is Roxana responsible to? Mm -hmm. She is part of, ma of maintenance department. Ajá, y luego le dice Roxana, will I, will I be responsible to you? O sea, voy a responderte a ti, o sea, si va a ser responsable. Y le dice, Jessica, ¿qué le dice? Maintenance chief mm. is the charge and directing your department. You are Ajá. responsible to him. Ahí le dice, you'll be responsible to him. O sea, ¿quién? To maintain it, chief. Okay, that's it. A él le va a rendir chief. cuentas. Mm -hmm, that's the thing. Okay, uh, Kenya, uh, two or four. And after Kenya, we're going to have, after Kenya, we will have um, Wendy. Two. Number two. Okay, go ahead. Who has, no, who is in yes. chair? Esa palabra sí estuve... Charge. 
chairs. 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 Who is in chairs of direct directing the maintenance? Maintenance. 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 Personal. Ajá. Maintenance personal. Aquí nos vamos a ir a este cuadro. A este cuadro. Ah. ¿Quién se encarga de supervisar de maintenance personal? Mm, pues maintenance chief. Perfect. Maintenance chief. Ese es el jefe. Okay. Jefe de, de mantenimiento. Perfect. Ok. Eh, okay. Tenemos maintenance, maintenance, ok, maintenance, maintenance. La, el acento lo tenemos en te, maintenance. Ok, se recuerdan como interesting, ¿se acuerdan esa palabra? Interesting, ok, maintenance. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Eh, what about Wendy, could you help us with number four? Y tenemos acá. Look. Look at, at the organiz, organizational chart above. Above, who are the soft engineer and the maintain, um, maintenance maintenance responsible to. Uh -huh, chief. Okay. Solo aquí un detalle. Uh -huh. The organizational, porque tenemos una O. The organizational, ok. The organizational. Ajá, mira al cuadro y eh, quién es ajá, el safety engineer y the maintenance chef, a quién le responden, quién es el responsable de ellos, ok. ¿Quién es el responsable de ellos? Vamos a ver el cuadro. Mm. Safety engineer and maintenance chief. They are responsible to. Mm. Floor manager, ok. Floor manager. Y sí, él es el responsable de ellos, ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, okay. ok, cuando decimos I'm responsible to. Uh, por ejemplo, I am a teacher. And I am um, in my case, in my case, I am a teacher and I am responsible to the coordinator. Estoy diciendo que mi responsable es, es el coordinador, ¿ok? No puedo decir yo soy el responsable del coordinador. coordinador. Parece extraño, pero así se dice, ¿ok? I am a teacher and I'm responsible to the coordinator. Ahora, ustedes digan, give me your occupation. I am an, um, a technician, I am a maintenance, I am a secretary, I am a cashier, and I am responsible to, ¿verdad? Y es como, ¿quiénes le rinden cuenta a ustedes? ¿Quién es su jefe? I'm responsible to, pero no me digan el nombre de la persona, sino que eh, díganme el puesto, ¿ok? Let's listen to some of you. What about if we start with, let me see, Gabriel, what about you? Ya tienes una idea? De este? um, yes, uh, she's my maintenance. Ah, you're um, the maintenance personal. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and I am responsible to? Um, okay, uh, think about parking, it. Parking, parking department. Ah, okay. Yes, but who is your chief? ¿Quién es tu jefe? Pero no me refiero a la uh, persona, sino el cargo. Uh, uh, manager, manager, parking department. Okay, interesting. Manager, and I'm responsible to manager parking department. Kenny and Pinto. Yes. 
Repíteme la pregunta. Ok. En eso me estaba hablando mi mamá. Ok, no problem. Um, vamos con Carito y después contigo. Tienes que decir okay, okay, tu, okay. tu ocupación y a quién le, le, le respondes como jefe. Ok, perfecto. Carito. And then ok, Kenny. teacher. I am a quality assessment and my responsibility is general manager. And I am responsible to. I'm responsible I am to. Responsible to General manager. manager. Okay, so the general manager is your boss, right? Yes. He or she? Yes. No, he, right? He yes. is. Okay, perfect. Kenya and Carlos. I am uh, auxiliary quality control. And I am responsible to. Chief. 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 Chief control. Oh, okay. It could be chief control department. Mm -hmm. Could it be? Carlos and then Wendy. Okay, teacher. I am assisting the packing. I I am responsible to my my manager and boss. Okay, or could it be the manager or, or boss. Okay, or manager packing department. Okay, porque es eso, a menos que sea un manager, un gerente general, similar to Carito, but I guess is manager packing department. Okay, Wendy and Evelyn. Uh, okay, I am a graphic designer. Okay. And? Um, and I'm responsible to a uh, manager branch. Brand manager. Mm -hmm. uh, brand manager. Brand yeah. manager. Wow, yeah. interesting. Yes. So you receive orders from the brand manager, right? And you yes, yes. create designs and all those things. Okay, good. Okay. Evelyn and then Pinto. Thank you. I am producer planner and I am responsible to the chief, the chief planner. Ah, the chief planner. Interesting. Okay. Pinto and Oscar. I am like a, like a machine operator. Good. Mm. And I am supervisor. Okay. Supervisor. Okay. And I am responsible to the supervisor. Okay. Supervisor. Thank you. And Oscar, we we'll go with Oscar and then Wilfredo. Okay, teacher. I am assistant packing, um, responsible to uh, my supervisor. Ah, to the supervisor, okay. You are, uh, okay, packing assistant. Mm -hmm. You're packing assistant. Interesting, good job. Thank you. Okay, we go with Wilfredo and Claudia. Uh, I am machine operator. Okay. Uh, and I am responsible Sponsor. to responsible to the supervisor to the supervisor okay good and what about you we have claudia and then duran uh, i clean the strip I, my responsible is supervisor i'm responsible to the supervisor tal vez pueden disminuir yes. un poquito el, el audio mm -hmm. claudia porque también se escucha interferencia Entonces, cuesta un poquito oh, entenderte. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bueno, yes. Ok. Dura. I am, I am Lin Chen's agent and the, oh, my supervisor is a manager, a process improvement manager. Ok. And I am responsible to, mm -hmm, to the manager. That is uh -huh. the Man supervisor. Process improvement, yes. Ok. Thank you, thank you, very nice. Recuerden que casi siempre aquí les pongo o les doy pistas de, de qué es lo que me tienen que decir, ¿verdad? Casi nunca, rara vez los dejo así varados o al aire, ¿verdad? Casi siempre les doy como pistas, les doy una idea de qué es lo que me tienen que decir. Ok. Perfect, very nice. You have very interesting jobs. Todos ustedes tienen como trabajos interesantes y variados, and that's really good. 
because we have different points of view, different experiences, okay? So that's it. Bien, uh, so look at the questions in exercise three and complete the statement below. Veamos a estas. Um, here we have, if you notice these words have, tienen ING, these words have for keeping, okay? Of directing, so a eso se refiere. Okay. And here we have this. I will need some help. Evelyn, can you help me read it, please? Use a verb plus. Use a verb plus. S. S. I N G. I N G. After position like for or of in the expression as be responsible for. Be in charge of, uh, be accountable for, committed to, dedicate to. Thank you. Very nice. Entonces dice que utilizamos, ¿verdad? El verbo más la S o el ING después de las preposiciones. Uh -huh. Como uh, for o tenemos of. En expresiones uh, como be responsible for. Be in charge of, be accountable for, committed to, dedicated to. Y aquí tenemos lo otro. To say who you report to use, be responsible to, be accountable. Para decir a quién le reportas, a quién le rindes cuentas, eh, pues utilizamos be responsible to. Es lo mismo que estábamos viendo acá. Cuando le decimos uh, responsible for... I'm responsible to you, ¿verdad? Entonces, en este caso, para a quién le vamos a responder o a quién le vamos a dar cuentas, ¿ok? And Gabriel Beltrán, could you help me to talk about? To talk about you responsible, use the responsible for be in charge of the accountable for. Thank you, very nice. Talk about your responsibilities, para hablar de las responsabilidades, ¿ok? Um, responsible for, mm -hmm, being in charge of, están a cargo de, mm -hmm, and so on. Continue. Nos quedan 50 minutos. If you could ask any question, what would it be? And for this, I will need, let me see, Gabriel, ¿ok, Gabriel? You okay. again. Okay. Um, I will ask him. Uh, we hear hello so much evil, so much suffering in humanity. We don't our hear change so that we start to love as other has he loves who's who's that humanity is missing is good. Okay. Because God is love. Thank because you. Because God is love. God, God. God is love. Okay, God that's it. Love. That's true. So why, why he allows evil or suffering? Interesting question. Okay. And we go now with Pinto and then Carlos. Okay, Pinto, are you ready with your uh, question? Yes, teacher, if I could make a question to good, it, it was something like this, but, but it's not maybe a question, it's a petition. Ah, petition, uh, okay. Yeah. I love Jesus, can I see your face? Oh, wow, that could be oh, really Jesus. interesting. <laughs> see the real <laughs> face, right? The real because face. We, we have pictures. We have a lot of paintings about Jesus, how we suppose Jesus is or Jesus was. Jesus but the real, it could be really yes, it's, interesting. It's, it's because in the Bible, it's not a dis description. It's not a concrete description. Concrete, not like, uh -huh, description. Well, uh -huh. interesting. Thank you, Pinto. Very nice. And uh, Carlos, and after Carlos, we're going to listen Duran. Okay. I we hear there as many abandoned ch children and many people in camp. And second, 
I clean from all me things. Okay. 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 Similar. If you notice, you have like similar ideas to, to the most of, of the, the participants. Tienen como ideas similares. And that's kind of interesting. I like it. Okay. Thanks, Carlos. And Duran. Are you ready, Duran, with this question? If you need time, just tell me. Let me know. Okay. Maybe he needs some time. Okay, we continue. Uh, Duran, are you ready? Yep. Um, no. Um, uh, give me time, please. Okay, please take your time. Yeah. Okay, yeah. nice. We go to the listening part, and please, I need you to be ready with your pen or pencil to write or to write some words or phrases, ideas you can identify. Okay, let's listen. The miracle of friendship. There is a miracle called friendship that dwells within the heart. And you don't know how it happens or when it even starts. But the happiness it brings you always gives a special lift. And you realize that friendship is God's most precious gift. Okay, one more time. The miracle of friendship. There is a miracle called friendship that dwells within the heart. And you don't know how it happens or when it even starts. But the happiness it brings you always gives a special lift. And you realize that friendship is God's most precious gift. Okay, let's see volunteers instead of asking. No, oh, no, I, in, yes, instead of asking. Okay, Carlos and Carito. Mm -hmm. Okay, always especially uh, a star, uh, fra phrasing, cholesterol. Good, really good. Okay, uh, Carito. Uh, the miracle of friendship um, happens on when a star realize uh, the friendship is more precious gift. Oh, interesting. Friendship is the most precious gift. gift. Mm, nice. Okay, what if we listen to Steffi? Any words, Steffi? Star especially. Mm -hmm. Start specially. Okay. And we go now with Wendy and Wilfredo. No, Wendy. I can. Hola, hola. Yes. Hi. Hello. Um, always a special guest. Oh. Um, precious gift. Mm -hmm. Precious gift. Good. Wilfredo and Evelyn. Uh, always, always, especially. Mm -hmm. Nice. Evelyn and Claudia. Friendship, happiness, always, gift. Yeah, very well pronounced. Claudia. Uh, Friendship, uh, happy, especially, always, always. Okay, yes. Creo que hay palabras, uh, there are some words that are better pronounced, como que en el audio son como más, mejor, well, bueno, mejor pronunciadas, digamos así. The miracle of friendship, con P, friendship. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let's listen again. 
So we can compare the pronunciation and the text. The miracle of friendship. There is a miracle called friendship that dwells within the heart. And you don't know how it happens or when it even starts. But the happiness it brings you always gives a special lift. And you realize that friendship is God's most precious gift. Okay, and um, there are some words that I would like you to write. For example, this. Within. Significa dentro de. I recommend you to write it. Esta palabra la van a encontrar. You're going to find this word in some other texts or conversations. Within significa dentro de. And realize. Darse cuenta. Realize es darse cuenta. A synonym of realize is notice que es notar, son sinónimos. So when you say, did you realize the, the gasoline prices um, eh, are low? Ya te diste cuenta que los precios de la gasolina están bajos. Or did you notice that the gasoline prices are up? Ya te diste cuenta, ya notaste que los precios de la gasolina están altos. Entonces, in my case, I consider that these are barriers that sometimes you are looking for. You are looking for these specific uh, verbs when you want to express opinions or talk about anecdotes or whatever you want to say. Son de esos verbos que se nos olvidan y no sabemos cómo decirlos y son súper importantes. Realize. Realize, darse cuenta. Notice, notar. Within es uh, dentro de. Okay? Y también ese, esos verbos son importantes cuando quieren hablar sobre anécdotas o historias pasadas. And I realized that, y me, y me di cuenta que era, me estaban engañando. Okay, so that's it. Carito. Yep. Teacher, before the word within, the dwells, I uh, don't know what it means. Dwells significa um, habitar. Que está dentro. Hay un milagro llamado amistad que habita dentro de el corazón. Uh -huh. Thank you. Raro, bien raro. Okay, you're welcome. Dwells, dwells. En lugar de dwells, puede ser that uh, is within the heart. También se podría, okay? But dwells are kind of like strange verbs. Okay, we continue. My dear friends. Ay, y cuando decimos gift, eh, podemos decir gift es regalo. Present es también regalo, but present is especially for birthdays, for anniversaries. That's a present, a physical, a physical, yeah, detail, un detalle físico. But mm -hmm. gift is kind of, uh, you can say, not just physical. Yes, Carlos. Pinto, I'm sorry. Okay, teacher. I'm sorry. What, what yeah. do you mean, live? Live, uh, the, but the happiness it brings you always gives a special lift. Es lift es significa levantar. Cuando vas a levantar pesas, yo lift. Entonces lift. significa como que te da un power up, perdón, un glow up, te levanta. Pero okay. la felicidad que te trae te da como un ánimo, te, 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 te levanta los ánimos y tú te das cuenta de eso. Tú, you realize that. Okay. okay thank you. Okay. It's a pleasure, my friends. Okay. <laughs> We go with this. Uh, vamos con esta actividad, pero antes de irnos con esta actividad, tenemos. Yeah. Vamos a poner un poquito de esto. Ya vamos a la siguiente. If you had only 24 hours to live, imagine 24 hours, it means one day, one entire day. It is to, well, you need more time. Definitivamente se necesita más tiempo, but imagine 24 hours. If you listen to the doctor says, Ok, Gabriel, ok, Wendy, ok, Carlos, tomorrow, uh, this time, 9 and 22 minutes, you're going to be there. Ok, what would you do? ¿Qué harías? Um, let's listen to your 
interesting list of activities. Okay. Yo ya se lo quería. Ok, Carito. Uh -huh. Carito. Vamos a ver. ¿Con filtro o sin filtro sí. la respuesta, Carito? O sin real. Filtro, sin filtro. Sin filtro. <laughs> ok. Let me see. Fine. Ok. 24 if hours. You have, if you have only 20, 24 hours to live, what would you do? First, I would tell all the people in my life that I love them. I would go to the beach to see the sunrise, the sunset. I love sunset on the beach. The last time, the last time of your life, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I would drink a piña colada in front of the sea and wait for my time to see the creator. Only one, two. I don't need any more, just oh. beach and alcohol. Yes, that's why I'm saying more than one piña colada, but okay. Oh, only one. Of course. No, only one. You said only one. Solo una te vamos a dar. Okay. Oh, nice. No. Sure. Okay. No. And way to see the creator. Interesting form. Same. I like it. Okay. I like it. In from the beach. Yo digo que me voy para el cielo. Uh, yeah, we hope so. Esperamos eso. Ahí, ahí me van a encontrar todos ustedes. Sí, se van. Okay. So thank you, Karen. Thank you. Yes. Si no, lo voy a ver en el chimbolero. Okay, who else wants to share uh, this interesting opinion? I don't know why. I think Kenya has a lot to say. Showtime, Kenya. Okay, teacher. Go to the beach, have a big party with my family and my best friends. Okay, go to the beach and have, okay. You can, you can ask for a loan. Quiero morir que, feliz. Saben lo que ustedes deberían de hacer, hacer un préstamo, porque ustedes deberían de ir a un banco a hacer un préstamo, okay? And then have a party. And then go to the beach and then <clears throat> dance. Reggaeton yeah. hasta el suelo and all those things, okay? Interesting. A lot of food and a lot of drinks, okay? Mucha comida, muchas bebidas, horchata, and all those things, right? Interesting, Kenya. What about Wendy? Uh, uh -huh, okay. Wendy, tell us. <laughs> if I only have 24 hours to life, I will spend time with, with the people I love because in the end, I think that is, is what I will miss the most definitely you're going to miss or on the contrary they are going to miss you ellos te van a extrañar right because you're going to to be with god with the lord vas a estar con el señor de los anillos quizás pero imagine the rest of your family and friends they are going to be crying oh wendy so sorry for her so <laughs> fue Okay. Thank you, Wendy. Okay, Claudia, what about you? And then Gabriel. Um, apologize to people I have often. Um, I party for my family. Okay, apologize. Interesting. Uh -huh. mira, mira, mira el resto de gente, Claudia, ni pide perdón. Mira, ahí se va. <laughs> Okay, so yes, okay. <laughs> con con uh, deudas, yes. con dinero prestado. Okay, <laughs> interesting, yeah. Okay, so you will apologize and say uh, that you love to, to the people, okay? The, the people close to you. Okay, definitely. Okay, Claudia, Gabriel. And after Gabriel, we go okay. with Carlos. Okay. I will try to live do the maximum with my daughter and wife. And I will thanks good for everything he gave me in this life for me, help me family, my, my wife, me baby for giving me the opportunity opportunity my Islamic baby for giving me the me the, me the, 
No sé, tú dime. Uh -huh. To give me the opportunity to share to with my family. Appreciate his creation. Creation. Oh, creation. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, I will thank, thank you for everything. Okay, I will thank. That's, that okay. sounds really spiritual. Suena muy espiritual because you are saying thank you yes. for, for, for the life. Yes. Thank you for having the experience, this experience with my baby, with my family. Really nice, Gabriel. Okay, good. Thank you. We we'll go now with Carlos and Steffi. Ah, no, Steffi, creo que va. No sé dónde va. Steffi, como que va a una fiesta. Okay, Carlos, please. Ya estoy en la casa. Okay. Okay, teacher. Please. Okay, break up all what I can, what to clean my soul. I second, I what angel then with, with my family as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Yes, take advantage of the time. Okay, you're not going to sleep. En esas 24 horas nadie va a dormir. No creo que alguien vaya a dormir. Okay, so you have to share with people you love. Okay. Interesting. Let me see. When the last one, okay, Evelyn, are you ready with your answer? Ah, no, tenemos Steffi y después Evelyn. Okay, Steffi, que yo pensé que Steffi iba a hacer una disco o algo así. Okay, Steffi, Hi, Evelyn. To ride a horse. Ride a horse. Yes. Okay. Only that, 24 horas haciendo eso, no, right? Besides that. <laughs> lo demás no lo puedo decir. Mm. Lo demás es un secreto. Too much information. Mucha información. Sí. <laughs> okay, it's now in our imagination. Yo asumo que irías a la iglesia, okay? So that's, I suppose that maybe you will go to the claro, church. Claro, como todo un angelito. Okay, okay, yes. <laughs> Interesting. Evelyn, esta carito, esta imaginación. Okay, Evelyn, please. Okay. I, I don't want to imagine it. Really? But, <laughs> but imagine. But, uh, but, and give thanks for all the support or yes the support that you receive yes interesting okay and you share you will share time with your family compartir ese con tu familia imagine right so that's it and say that you love them and all those things okay interesting really nice thank you evelyn okay stephanie agregamos otro verbo por acá de los tuyos stephanie steffi no Se va a quedar corta la respuesta, ok. Bueno. Carito la va a terminar por botis, ok. No, le va a poner demasiado. Ok, <laughs> ok, nice, my friends. And here we have this. Um, complete the questions below. Below significa abajo. Complete the questions below with the, the appropriate verb form, con la forma apropiada de los verbos, ok. Then read the information in Rex organizational chart to answer the questions. Check the answers with a partner. Okay, here we have a chart on organizational chart. General manager, auditor, quality control inspector, floor manager, financial, no financial, financial department, computer department, sales department. And here we have some other categories. Safety engineer, maintenance chief, supervisor, machine operator, assembler, truck. ¿Se recuerdan que esto estaba en la conversación anterior con Roxana y, y Jessica, I guess? So they were talking about this, but imagine the enterprise or the company is bigger. Uh, the, the company uh, does not have just this. They have more organization they have more departments more personal okay so um let's let's complete 
this, okay? Here we have from one to six. Let's see if we have volunteers or si tenemos voluntarios. If not, si no, pues uh, vamos a elegir a la, vamos a ver, vamos a elegir a Steffi, ya que tiene muchas ideas en su cabeza. Ok, Steffi. A la que menos tiene ideas. A ver, estás pensando en tus 24 horas de vida. Pues, ok. Pues. Ok. Take your time. Take your time. Now let's go with um, Pinto. And then Oscar. Ok, teacher. The number one says, who is the responsible for? Ajá. Eh, como tenemos el for, vamos a utilizar este verbo con ing. Ok. Supervising. Yeah, perfect. Supervising. Yes. Who is responsible for supervising? The machine yeah. operator. The machine operator. Operators. Okay. Here we have machine operators. Aquí tenemos. So. Machine operators. ¿Quién es, uh, ¿quién es el responsable? Hmm? The supervisor. Easy. Easy peasy. Supervisor. Easy. Supervisor. Perfect, that's it. Okay, and we have also Oscar and Steffi. Okay, the number three. Number three. Who is responsible for repairing yes. the, the machine? Yes, the repairing the problems machines. Who do you think? Okay. Uh, Who is responsible uh, for repairing a uh, me me equivoqué aquí. No lo escribí bien. Repairing the problems of machines. Uh -huh. ¿Quién es el que trabaja con eso? Con las machines. Chief uh, the maintenance. ¿Mm? El jefe de mantenimiento. <coughs> Could it be? Pero como aquí tenemos machine eh, operators, ¿verdad? Ellos son los que en primera línea deben de estar, porque tenemos, ajá, aquí lastimosamente solo tenemos maintenance, pero aquí tenemos, pues, es otro personal, ¿ok? Eh, we can be machine operators. Ok, thank you. Carito. Bueno, tenemos Steffi de Carito. ¿Mm? Number two, who is char charge charge? Number two, who is in church in church church of who is in church of checking the quality of the product? Mm -hmm. The quality mm -hmm. of the products. Uh -huh. ¿Quién podría ser? Pro manager. Mm, oh, porque recuerda que tenemos más opciones acá. No necesariamente tienen que ir desde acá hasta acá. Puede ser cualquier otro. Financial Department. Mm, no, porque está a cargo de revisar la calidad de los productos. Uh -huh. Por el B. Mm. Quality Control Spectrum. Ok. Y es Carito. Ok, Steffi, me quitaste mi oración. Voy a agarrar el number five. Ok, así es la vida. Siempre nos quitan muchas cosas. Muchas. I know. Who, no is in <laughs> Who is in charge of assisting the assemblers? Ok, the, assisting. The supervisor? Assistant, yes, assistant. The assemblers, okay. Assembler. Mm -hmm. Who do you think? Um, the supervisor. Yes, definitely. Yes, yeah. they need help. They, they need the superior. <coughs> okay, that's it. Good. Uh, Carlos, did you raise your hand? Levantaste la mano, Carlos. Sí. Okay. Six. Six. 
what it countable from mana manager uh, managing 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 okay the world operation um, uh -huh. the world operation <laughs> operation okay quien okay. uh, crees general manager yes the general manager very nice carlos okay and the last one volunteers or maybe i can assign puedo asignar a alguien okay, okay. me teacher okay please number four four yep who is accountable for selling the product aha uh -huh. okay who is accountable for selling the product uh, sales. Uh -huh. sales sales department perfect Yes, that's it. Sales department, they are in charge of selling the products, selling cargado de vender los products, okay? So, well, we can see that the chart is a really, well, thank you for all your answers. And it is easy to see that we have like um, the mm. organizational chart, okay? And it, it is like present in every company. In your companies, you have this. You have a, like an organizational chart. Yes, that's it. You are responsible to another, your boss, your chief, and he or she responds to the superior and so on. Okay, so that's it. Well, my friends, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, ya terminamos, casi, ya casi, okay? Um, we have to create, in theory, deberíamos de crear un uh, organizational chart, pero solo vamos a ver después, okay? What's the name of this song? Okay, Pinto, could you could you share? If not, we're going to try, okay? A ver si intentamos, okay? Compartir el pantalla. Okay, I, I'm going to try. Yes, en la parte de abajo, in, in the, the lower part, you can see, I guess it is a green button. Creo que es un botón verde. Yep. You are using your computer or cell phone? In the cell phone. Ah, you're in the cell phone, but it is the same. So, let me ver acá. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Creo que hoy sí ya. Ya te di. Ya te di la opción. Okay. Can you see? No, my friend. No, at all. No. Para nada. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Carlos Abrego, you yesterday, you use the computer or use the cell phone? Uh, computer. The computer. Okay. Yes, thank you. Yes, it's kind of different because the computer it has like more options, it, right? The cell phone is yes, it's, it's it's limited. It's un poco limitado. It's limited, kind of. But yes. you can do it. Hmm? Lo encuentras, Carlos? I, I will find. Okay. Yes. En la parte de abajo tienes que ver ahí. Compartir pantalla, dice, y te aparece con una flechita hacia arriba, ¿verdad? Se aparece. Sí, el problema es que no encuentro el archivo donde, donde se guardó. Mm, hace una cosa, tomarle captura de pantalla. Ajá, uh -huh. screenshot, míralo ahí, tomar una captura y después te, te va a aparecer como el primer archivo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And be careful, ten cuidado porque si no vamos a ver, no es ser. <risa> Porque a Steffi, el curso pasado, ¿verdad, Carito? Que le vimos cosas, Steffi. Para nada. ¿Verdad, Kenia? Que le vimos. We saw, we not, we realized, nos dimos cuenta, we realized of. ¿Qué? Que ahí de Dicom me le estaban llamando a Steffi. 
No, nah, kidding, kidding. Broma, Steph. Oh, wow, that's it. Hey, no, hombre, pero ahí salgo, ahí. Eh. Es lo que le digo, que las capturas, esas capturas son peligrosas. Ok. Ok, es lo que les digo, bueno. Voy, voy, a, voy, a, voy a agradecerle más seguido a Carito que me quita esa captura. Ok. Um, solo cerrado. Please, go ahead. Can you read it? Ya yes. Se canción. Yes, go. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our minds. Have no fear for atomic energy because none of them can stop the time. How long shall they kill our prophets while we stand aside and look? Some say it's just a part of it. We got to fulfill the book. Yeah, that's it. Any idea? It's a reggae song, right? Pinto. It's a reggae song. Yeah. The singer was it long, long hair. A long, long hair from Jamaica. Okay. Yes, Supongo que es Bob Marley, pero ni idea de la canción. No idea. <laughs> Evelyn, you know the song? Yes, no. Okay, let's see. Carlos, no idea. Uh, Kenya, okay. Please say the name. The Redemption. Yes, Redemption. No me gusta sí. mucho ese género, pero ya <coughs> mayormente se lo he escuchado a varios amiguitos por ahí. Entonces, sí, amiguitos. La genia es buena para las adivinas. Es que me encanta la música, me encanta la música, okay. pero el género del reggae es el que menos me gusta casi. Qué pero bien. como tengo mis queridos compañeros que hay unos que les gusta, entonces ni modo okay. que escuchar. Yes. yes. That's it. Because it's not a pronunciation, the American, the mm -hmm. British. The British. Yes, Jamaican, it is, well, in the past, it was a colony of British. That's why they speak kind of British. Como fue una colonia británica, es por eso que tienen, they have like a lot of influence. Mm -hmm. So that's yes. it. Redemption song. Thank you. Thank you, okay. uh, Pinto. Very nice. I love this song. This is one of my favorite <laughs> reggae songs. Okay. Le dije que una en español de los temerarios lo puedo poner. Okay. A ver si te recuerda a alguien, Kenya. Okay. No, normally, we have specific music that remind us, nos hace recordar cosas, right? Good situations, good anecdotes, or people. A veces recordamos personas, right? Yeah, it happens. Okay, and to continue with this, so redemption song from Bob Marley. And okay, tenemos otras, pero antes de irnos con esto, vamos con, we are going to continue. If you have only 24 hours to live, what would you do? Hay una película que se llama así. I recommend it. It's from Morgan Freeman and Jack Nicholson. It's called The Bucket List, que se llama en español antes de partir. Pero The Bucket List is common. It's like a list of things you want to do before you die. But you should have more than 24 hours. For example, you write, I would like to go to Rome. I would like to go to Panama, to Cuba, uh, and th things like that. Uh, swim with sharks nadar con tiburones, or I don't know, whatever. They could be like good ideas, bad ideas, crazy, crazy ideas, okay? No te rías, Steffi. But there are a lot of things. So that's the bucket list. Es, eh, todos creo que, I guess everybody would like to have this bucket list. But um, here we have some other opinions. For example, Steffi. Ah, no, si ya me lo dijiste, va a estar en la iglesia, va a pasar. Ok. Um, Wendy. Ajá, Wendy. 
No lo he dicho, esto me acuerdo que sí. Sí, ya, 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 ya lo dije. Really? Yes. Ok. Bueno, Claudia también, ¿verdad? Pues no sé por qué no te anoté. Ok, Wilfredo, are you there? Que Wilfredo lo veo más malía. Cada curso se hace más malía. Ok, Wilfredo. Eh, eh, say, say goodbye to all my love ones and end my day with my children. Give, give thanks to go for the brown life. Okay. Say goodbye, uh, say thank you to the people you love and say that you love them. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Pensé que a nosotros nos iba a decir adiós. Okay. Um, Pinto. Sí, estoy. I'm here, teacher. Okay. What about you? I don't know if you already answered this. No, right? No. No. Okay, please. Go. Oh, yeah. I will apologize to, to everyone. With okay. fear with, with Jesus. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. Okay. Yes, to go and, and peace, to rest. Mm -hmm. To rest in peace. Okay. And, 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 and go to eat 25 tacos. 25 with a tacos with a big With a Coca-Cola, the big one. The big one. Okay, yes. interesting. 25 tacos. Yes, because imagine. <laughs> Anyway, you, you can die. You can die eating 20, 25 tacos. So, anyways, it doesn't matter. Interesting. Really nice. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, Kenya. ¿Qué pasó, Kenya? Está hablando con tu conciencia, Kenya. No. No te escuchamos, Kenya. Creo que. Hola. Okay, yes. Hola. Yes. Sí. Que sí. ahí no es que, que nos invita ahí a todos los de la ah, clase. Ah, yes, ¿no? yes, ok, yes. Mm -hmm. And then we go running. Y después nos vamos corriendo, right? After 25 tacos. Uh, Oscar, what about you, my friend? What would you do with 24, 24 hours? Well, if I only have... 24 hours to live. The first thing I will do is ask God for mercy as always. And the, he will allow me to be in front of him on the mm -hmm. final day. In front I of will him. Also, uh, yeah, I will also spend the same I always with my family, my children, and Give them the lady ideas on and they tell them that they are the best kid that God healed me in my whole life until that moment on the departure. Okay. <laughs> Interesting words in palabras interesantes, Oscar. Nice. When you ask for mercy, es como cuando tú pides como, como piedad, ¿verdad? Estás hablando, you're talking about talking to God, right? To say that you apologize. Yeah. And be ready, spiritually talking, espiritualmente hablando, be ready for your departure, para tu partida, ¿ok? Interesting words. Eh, palabras interesantes, ¿ok? Um, thank you. And what about Luis? I don't know, if, creo que Luis está solo de oyente, creo que tuvo dificultades. Duran, what about you? Are you ready with this answer? Um, no, teacher. Not ready. Okay. Este, para las otras actividades, este, Duran, comentarte que normalmente nosotros, eh, bueno, yo envío estas preguntas. ¿Tú estás en el grupo de WhatsApp? Yes, yes, yes. Ajá, entonces, estas actividades que yo envío es para que puedan preparar una respuesta. Normalmente son de opiniones. Casi todas son de dar su opinión. Si te das cuenta, son cortas. Prepara tu respuesta, ¿verdad? Porque todos los días yo envío, ¿verdad? Esas speaking activities 
prepara tu respuesta y tú la puedes leer o la puedes memorizar como tú quieras para este momento ser más fluido, ¿ok? Sería a partir del lunes. ¿Ok, Dura? Okay. Um, Thanks. Good. Excellent. And to thank everyone, agradecer a todos porque ahora fue una gran diferencia desde ayer. Ahora ya, ya su, your participation is like more fluent, está más fluida. And that's kind of what, what, what I expect, es lo que yo espero. En la siguiente semana espero que sea, I hope you can speak uh, with more fluency. Espero que hablen con un poquito más de fluidez, con más confianza y pues así vamos a ir. Ok. Increasing. We have to increase our speaking activity. Ability, nuestra habilidad para, para hablar, necesitamos que incrementarla, ¿ok? So, um, we have eight minutes, ocho minutos, um, remember this, ¿ok? Adjectives, comparative and superlatives. Vamos a utilizar, pero vamos a ver este ejercicio que está... Va, aquí tenemos esto. La explicación corta de cuatro minutos. Ok, um, repitiendo. Repeating, again, we have... Adjectives, tenemos adjetivos con una sílaba. Y tenemos, por ejemplo, fast, young. El comparativo es faster, younger. Y el superlativo es fastest, youngest. ¿Cómo cambia? Miren, ER y aquí EST. ¿Ok? No vamos a decir more fast. Si decimos more fast, sería como cuando ustedes dicen mm, es que esta, esta comida es más mejor. Así sonarían ustedes. O sea, se dice mejor, ¿verdad? mucho mejor o mejor, pero si decimos más mejor, estamos eh, agregando dos, ¿qué? Dos comparativos, el más y el mejor, ¿ok? So, that's, no tiene sentido, ¿ok? Eh, ok, that's it. Vamos con la siguiente. Ahora tenemos los adjetivos que son extensos, que no son de una sílaba, sino que son más. Por ejemplo, famous, expensive. Y tenemos otros adjetivos como interesting, como boring, eh, como intelligent, popular. Todos esos adjetivos que son largos. Beautiful. Okay? Entonces, a esos no les agregamos ER, ¿verdad? Como en el anterior. I'm sorry. I don't know what is happening with this sino que le agregamos el more. Estas son más fáciles. In my point of view, I guess they, they are easier. Son más fáciles porque solo le agregamos el more. Y aquí para decir, el, este es más famoso, ¿qué? O el más famoso. Ok, for example, we have Mágico González and we have Ronaldinho. Ok. Ronaldinho is more famous than Mágico González. Ronaldinho es más famoso que Mágico González. Pero si, si decimos Ronaldinho is the, most fame, uh, is the most famous soccer player in the world. Estamos diciendo que Ronaldinho es el más famoso del mundo. Superlativo, o sea, supera a los demás. Ok. And that's it. Let's go to the... Bien. Vamos a... Según lo que le diga su corazón. O le agregamos ER a los verbos. O le agregamos... ER después del verbo o le agregamos more antes. Cualquiera de las dos cosas, sigan su corazón, ¿ok? Eh, Steffi, seguí tu corazón, mujer. Bueno, Whatever. No I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> ¿Ok? <laughs> Cualquiera. Whatever. I'm sorry. Bye. Dry, ajá. ¿Cómo, cómo crees que es? El nombre dry. Eh, le agregaríamos R. Dryer, yes. Thank you. Very good. Ok, now let's listen to Kenny and then Pinto. Ok, teacher. The more big? Mm, casi. How much? Bigger. 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 No te recuerdas que había un restaurante que era Biggest. Sí, Biggest, sí. Ajá, sí, ajá. Entonces, Mi por hamburguesa eso... favorita. Ok, I'm so sorry. Ajá, solo creo que hay unos cuantos, como dos hay, creo. ¿eh? Ok. Sí, en so... Apopa hay un. Yes, ok. So, Biggest, te das cuenta, es como lo más grande. Eh, supuestamente la hamburguesa más grande, ok. But, eh, recuerdan de eso, de Bigger, Biggest, ok. So, ok. Eh, we go with Pinto and then Wilfredo. 
Happiest. Ok, en superlativo es happiest, pero comparativo sería... More, more happy. Mm, sería happier. Ok. Happier. Este es bien engañoso. Este adjetivo es bien engañoso. Ok, Wilfredo, and after Wilfredo, we go with Claudia. Uh, show. Ajá. Uh, ING. Mm -mm. No, le agregamos ER e o le agregamos MORE antes. Cualquiera de las dos opciones. MORE, MORE. More short. Mm, casi. Shorter. Porque es corto. Ok. And we go with Claudia and Gabriel. And nice. Sería nicer. Yes. Nice. Nicer. Nicer. Gabriel. And after Gabriel, we go with Wendy. Um, sería... Um, G, 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 Sí, y saben que Tinner, el famoso Sinner. Así es, Tinner, porque es un adelgazador. O sea, ok. Por eso es Tinner, pero nosotros decimos Sinner. Buenas, tiene Sinner. Ok. Uh, we go with Wendy, right? Con Wendy vamos, and then Evelyn. Okay, and more expensive. Perfect, more. Vamos a escribir. More expensive. Evelyn. Eh. Oh, more es um, expensive, ya lo dijeron, ¿verdad? Yes, podría ser interesting. Uh, interesting. More interesting. Yes, easy. Así, ah, porque es un adjetivo largo. Ok. Miren, ya se nos fue el tiempo. I'm going to check the attendance list. Reviso la lista de asistencia. Ok. So, say hi, hello. You are there. Eh, Alfredo Saldaña. Nada. Carlos Ramírez. No. Carlos Abrego. Present. Hello. Good. Pinto. Present. Nice. Eh, Carlos Abrego, te quedas. You have your session. Hoy tienes la sesión, ¿ok? okay. Eh, el día lunes le toca la sesión a Pinto. Y de ahí va Carito, según el, el, el orden de lista, ¿ok? Carito. I'm here, teacher. You are there, ¿ok? Eh, Edwin. Present, mm. teacher. Nice. Elisa, no. Steffi. Perfecto. Ok, Evelyn. I'm here. You're there. Gabriel. Present teacher. Dura, thank you. Present teacher. Kenya. Thank you. Ok, Luis, you're there. Hello teacher. Ok, and we go with Oscar. Hello teacher. Wil Wilfredo. Claudia. Present Wendy. Teacher. Okay. Okay. okay, bye bye, my friends. Descansen, Carlos. Abrego, te quedas. El resto, goodbye. Have a nice bye. 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 Okay, Carlos. Um, Tell me, do we have any questions about the topics? Uh, do we have questions about the classes or do you want the interview? Pregunta sobre la clase o quieres la entrevista? La entrevista. Okay, let me see. Okay. We start, comenzamos. Hello, Carlos. Hello, teacher. How are you? Um, very, very good. Excellent. What's your name? Um, my name is Carlos. How old are Hello. you? 
Um, bueno, ahí, ahí sí es tu careta. Ok. What's your last name? Uh, What's bueno. your last name? No, ok. No. Um, let's see. Um, how do you spell your name? Deletrear. How do you spell your name? Tengo que letrear your name. Yes. Carlos. Mm -hmm. Ok. Está mi nombre. Yes. C A R L O F. Ok, excellent. And what time is it? And, and, and 29. 20, no. What time? What time is it? Uh, six o'clock. Okay. Um, what's your phone number? Seven. Okay. Three, three. One, zero, two, zero. Okay. Nice. What's your occupation, Carlos? En el trabajo. En la, en la casa. Uh, no, no, in, in your job. What's your occupation? Uh, I'm sorry? Assistente. Assistant. Assistant. Okay. Okay. And tell me about yourself. Cuéntame sobre ti, lo que tú quieras hablar acerca de ti. Bueno. Puede ser información I... personal o lo que tú quieras. Ok. My favorite is este football. I'm, uh, I defend um, um, que de verdad me cuesta un poco. Tranquilo, tranquilo. Pero, puedes ah, decirme tu nombre, tu color favorito, puedes hablar sobre tu, tu la música la comida que te gusta. Ok, vamos, intenta de nuevo, tú puedes. Ok. My, my favorite, favorite is, uh -huh. my favorite is, I'm, pupusas, I, my favorite song, uh, reggae, my favorite, um, um, My favorite color? Uh, my favorite color in blue. Mm -hmm. And... Okay, nice. And tell me, describe one member of your family. Describe un número de tu, uh, un miembro de tu familia. Okay, my brother. Mm -hmm. uh, my, uh, nom, nom, ¿Cómo se dice su nombre? Ah, ok. His name is. Ah, ok. His name is Marlon, Ab Marlon Abrego. Ok. Uh, um, color de 
Uh -huh. His favorite yellow. color. My favorite color is black. And a car. And a big view. Um, um, uh, he get up, gets up, gets up, get, okay, get up. I four, four o'clock. I am, and it's so, so. I pupusa. Mm -hmm. um, um, so, um, mediodía, teacher. Uh, noon. Noon. No, no. And, and noon, so noon, and tortilla. Tortilla, sí, es lo mismo, ¿no? Sí. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, okay. Um, okay, the last question. Uh, what's your favorite movie? Uh, la mía o de él. No, your, your favorite movie. My favorite movie. Um, la de, bueno, la de Batman. Okay. Y That's de nice. Marvel. Ok, very good, Carlos. Bien, terminamos acá. Eh, solo recuerda, Carlos, y lo que te sugiero es que um, revises los apuntes de la, del curso pasado. Porque en algunas cosas estás mejorando. En muchas cosas estás mejorando, pero hay cosas que ya se te olvidaron y no las has practicado. Porque el curso pasado, cuando terminamos el curso pasado, ya iba avanzando bastante. Ahorita hubo un pequeño retroceso. Necesitas repasar Leer, como te digo, leer en voz alta, grabarte, ¿verdad? Porque el curso pasado, la, la última semana avanzaste bastante. Hoy hay cosas que las haces bien, pero hay cosas que ya las conocías y se te olvidaron. ¿Ok, Carlos? Ok, okay. okay. Así que ánimo, tú puedes. Tómate, sí, se te cuesta un poquito por el tiempo, pero tú puedes, ¿ok? Sí, ok. Teacher. Excelente. Nos yeah. vemos entonces el lunes, ¿ok? See you on Monday. Bueno, bueno, bye, bye. Nos vemos. Bye, bye.